Hello everyone and welcome back to another on the road truck simulator video. Uh, we're back, um, well it's been about a week because we went on this when the update dropped. Um, we should add a few things, uh, but yeah we're going to be taking a drive from Duisburg to Dortmund. <clears throat> And the first thing I'd actually, I did actually, well, literally just notice it as I was uh, just running around to the front of the truck. Quite nicely, we now actually can see where, well, where to uncouple the truck. As before, you'd sort of be, you know, rummaging around. You'd just about see the green sort of sliver underneath the uh, trailer. It was quite hard to find where to actually uncouple the truck. But now you can see through, so it's fairly easy. So good on Toptronics for doing that as yet before it was quite, uh, quite a struggle. Uh, stabilizers already up so I think we are all good to go we've also customized our truck which was added in the most recent update so yeah as, I suppose a couple of good things added in the update although still no wall support which really bugs me because I really want to play this game and stream it but I, I just can't me a whole oh, hello a whole hour without the wheel yeah it, I just can't do it Right, let's go. But yeah, I must admit, the customization is pretty cool. Uh, which you can see on the outside of the truck. And the way they've got the trailer thing easier now. But yeah, still a few things which still... Yeah, it, I mean, wheel support is a biggie. So hopefully we will see it fairly soon. And I think Toptronics and Aerosoft know we do want wheel support. So uh, hopefully we will see it. As it has been... Well, ages. It's what is it? Oh my god. Okay, it's been um I'm trying to think actually think of how long it's been oh god. It's been six months almost yeah, six months since the next gen version of On the Road come out. And yeah, it's still still no will support. Unless maybe they are waiting, because I know Fabian did mention it was sort of ready on the PlayStation, and the issues were on the Xbox. So unless maybe they're waiting to bring it out both on Xbox and PlayStation at the same time. So you know, bringing it out on PlayStation and Xbox players are like, hang on a second, why have we not got it yet? Uh, a bit like what happened when the game released on Xbox. You know, it came to PlayStation and Xbox players were like, hang on, they've got it, why haven't we got it? Um, so yeah. Maybe that is the case. I think it's very much needed. Because I could easily sit on this game for quite a few hours with a steering wheel. But on controller, it, I, no, I, I can't do it. I'm so, so used to using, especially for a game like this as well, you know, a trucking game. Wheel support is sort of necessary. I know it would probably be, you know, only 40% of players, probably not even that, who actually have the steering wheel. So you might be watching this thinking, well, I play on controller, it's easy on controller. But trust me, once you've used a wheel on special, well, this game, or just any simulator game really, which, you know, it's a driving game, you, you just really can't go back to using controller. <laughs> yeah, going up onto the zero, heading over to uh, Dortmund, which is the city next door. It's only a short run. I suppose the Dortmund transfer. Cool. Yeah, I'm hoping there is an update out fairly soon as for wheel support. But, I mean, overall, the game is... It, it's okay. It, it's okay. I mean, the physics are good. The graphics, well, on the next-gen version, actually look pretty... I mean, look at that. The reflections and the way the shadows are. It does look quite decent. So I must admit, the game, I mean, I know everyone's like, oh, it's a bad game, it's really, no, you should really avoid it. It's not actually that bad. The only thing that does let it down is the wall support. So if you're playing on controller, and you're just used to controller, well, there's not really, really I suppose, any sort of issue with the game, really. But yeah, without that steering wheel support, it really does, um, yeah, bring it down a bit. In fact, let's get some fuel. We are on about a third of a tank. Let's go and get that. Yeah, I must admit the game, the game isn't as bad as people make it out to be. It's okay. Here 
Here we are. Right. It's better than Truck Driver, which is the other trucking game on uh, on here. Let's quickly get that off. Right, and let's uh, fill that up. And the yeah, same thing here, you can see the fuel blocks through the truck now. As before, you can only sort of see a sliver of green. Let's fill that up. Why can't I get it to 980? I don't know. Yeah, the truck itself, the model itself, I mean, that look, does look good, doesn't it? You can't say it doesn't look good. Graphically, it is, uh, it's alright. Well, especially on the next gen version. Well, I've actually only got 23 minutes driving time, so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, park up here and have a little sleep, little snooze. Let's go and do that. Truck parking scene. I think they're also in the new update. They might have added some new trailer designs. Some of them, the AI ones, do look a little bit different. Although there's still no Scania AI trucks, which I still don't really understand why there isn't. Unless Scania said we don't want our trucks being as AI. Let's quickly sleep. There you go. Is it morning now? Or evening? Yeah, oh, it'll be morning, I think. Yeah. So we sort of slept through the night. That's alright. Attack a graph, change mode, cool. Right, let's get it going. Coming out of here. Yeah, the game, I mean, graphically, it's not bad, is it? Look at the sun coming down there on the road, the reflections, the shadows. It looks right, we are playing on the PS5 version. There we go. And we're off. So I don't think it's too far to um, to Dortmund. Yeah, not too far. It's only a nice little short drive, but I thought, you know, we might as well come on here, um, show off the update, or some parts of it. But yeah, truck customization. Obviously, yeah, you can see it's a bit more easier now to see where to uncouple the trailer and stuff like that. I think there's also a new, uh, if we quickly check on here, there is actually a... Uh, the, yeah, this one. No, that was there before, wasn't it? That's the one I was looking at before. Well, I think there is a slightly new, yeah. Uh, one of these, I think, is slightly different. I think it's that one, yeah. So you get the 6x2 and the 4x2 uh, now, so a tad different. There's a new container trailer as well. Which we will have a look. Um, trailer... I think it's this, no, it's a double one. Yeah, this one here, semi-container, I think. I think that's the one. That is uh, new. So, cool. Right, while we're going off here, we're going straight on. I don't know why, I mean, unless we do have to go off there, but I don't think we are. As we continue our journey. Nice early morning drive. Was it 4.55 or 4.56 in the morning? Look at that. I mean, it don't look too bad though, does it? Whoa, hello. Oh my... Just, just ignore that. Ignore it. That's me driving on controller. These things happen, alright? <laughs> Oops. All good. Don't panic. The pigs are probably like, whoa, what was that? It's all good, it was uh, a red light. <laughs> I can't really use that excuse, can I, on the road? On the middle of an autobahn. Yeah, that. that's right. That's another thing, it does seem quite, well, it seems a bit harder to steer on controller since the last update. Like, I, I know I was bad at steering on controller before the update, but it does seem a, a, a bit more slidey now. I don't know if that really makes sense, but if I sort of do that, it almost like as if it's sliding across. Like that, see? Seems sort of a bit off. Actually, hang on. What if we were supposed to be... No, were we supposed to be on that lane? Uh-oh. I think we were supposed to be on that side. Oh, no. Come on, surely we can get across. I was thinking it was probably just rooting us that way. No, we should better get across. Oh, no. What if we can't... Uh-oh. No, hang on. Can we? 
Oh, don't say we... Oh, we... We can't get across. Is there another way into Dortmund? <laughs> there isn't really another way. Uh, in fact, we can just go that way, actually. You know what? Well, that'll probably actually be quicker, actually. We'll just go along the autobahn. Ah, well, that, that's our exit there. Well, goodbye exit. We're continuing on. Ah, <laughs> it's all good. Happens all the time. Right, you might notice a little blip in the video here. That's just saying it doesn't go over 4 gigabytes. So some games tend to, you know, when I record them, they're like much bigger file size. And on the road, it's one of those games. Like a 10 minute video could somehow be like 3 gig. And there's like a 4 gig limit on the sort of editing software I use, which is the Share Factory Studio on PS5. Because if I use my PC editing software, the file size becomes like 16 gigabytes at the end somehow. So it takes uh, just too long to upload. It's actually easier to edit on there, but yeah, it just takes too long to uh, upload. Like triple the length. What would you usually take? On we go. They are speeding a little bit, but then they're speeding as well. So if they're speeding, it's all good. I'm <laughs> just... It going with the flow. Right, coming off here. There you go. Might miss the exit this time. So I was thinking with the first time, well, when we missed the exit, that it would, because sometimes it, for no reason whatsoever, routes you along a slip road. Like, for no reason, and you go back onto the autobahn, so I thought it might have been doing that. Obviously, that wasn't the case. There's the uh, helicopter over there on the left. So that seems all sort of slidey, look at that. Sort of sliding round, almost like as if we're drifting round the corner. Let's get into there. I mean, in fact, this way probably actually, it's probably actually quicker going this way, because otherwise we would have had to drive through Dortmund, which probably wouldn't have been a bit of a nightmare going through there. So this way actually could be, you know, good thinking there, big brain. <laughs> I've actually been. It might actually be easier going going this way. And where's it take there? We're going, we're going up to there, and it's just to there. Because otherwise, we would have been stuck at traffic lights and traffic. Okay, yeah, probably actually is easier coming off here. There we go. I'm pretty certain it's like within a town. Like it's one of those unmarked or un unnamed places on the map. There we go. There we go, right off we go. Up to Una. Or Una. Probably not even any of them. And there we go, up into the town. There we go. Right, so we're going left here. There we go. Cool. Yeah, if, oh, hello, we're rolling back. If you're enjoying the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. Well, hello, we're in the coach now. It's Tourist Bus Sim. And Tourist Bus Sim is coming out May the 12th. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to that. It's going to be good. Going through the right hand side here, and of course, it's, it's just gone red. Literally, just gone red. Typical. Hang on, it. Oh, how was that? That cheeky that was going through there. I was on like a yellow. Cool. 
Ah, let's get going. Look at that. Not bad. Premium logistics. Obviously, you can change the livery on your trucks. Although, I haven't really bothered doing that since I got the uh, next gen version. So, it's just stayed as the default one for now. So, I don't mind the default one. It's not too bad at all. Oh, yes, this is Una. So, it's like a little unmarked place on the map. And you've got a couple of uh, industrial areas. Cool. Yeah, I wonder, because we've got tourist bus coming to console, I wonder if we'll then see Firm Bus. I mean, Firm Bus is advertised a fair bit in this game. If you sort of look around, you'll see it a fair, a fair bit on the ad boards. There goes one there, actually. Firm Bus Sim. I reckon we'll see that at some point on um, console. I reckon tourist Bus will sort of, because tourist Bus is like the smallest of the bus and uh, Firm Bus. So I reckon tourist Bus is sort of a uh, a test to see how it does port over to console. If it goes well, then we might see firm bus. And then after firm bus, the bus should then be out of early access. And then maybe we'll see that on uh, console. But yeah, really, would I think the buses will be the main one I want to see on console. As I mean, yeah, I know we have got Bus Simulator 21 on console, but it's more arcadey than simulator, and it looks quite cartoony as well. So it would be nice to have a realistic looking bus sim, real scale, real timetable, uh, the bus. What's that over there? What's that in the field? It's like a blue thing. Is that a trailer? Oh no, it's a motorway sign. I thought there was something secret over there. Here we are at the farm though. I suppose one good thing about not using the steering wheel is you can go on these external cameras, which in the world was slightly harder to do. Well, still, I like using the wheel. It's better. <laughs> We're going to hit the stairs if we keep doing that. There we go, that should be better. It's gone green. It will do. Oh, let's let out the picks. Pigs, you're at your other farm. I keep moving you around, so I don't know how they treated you here, but enjoy. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun here. Well, there we go. That is going to be it, everyone, for today's on-the-road video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Look at the plane going over there. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. What does everyone think? Uh, what do you think of the new update? Uh, are you fairly happy with it? Is it a bit of a, yeah, it's alright, or is it a bit, yeah, there's no will support? What do you think? Apart from that, have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all, take care. Bye, guys.